Hey everybody, I'm back. A couple, or last week, a friend of mine sent me this box. And this is what it looked like showing up at my house, all covered in duct tape. And I started to open it up. See, I did cut it open, I admit. And the first thing I saw when I cut it open was this little card here. It says, if at first you don't succeed, pry, pry again. And on the back it says, don't open this until you're on camera. Something to use for a video unboxing and tabletop view from my buddy Scamp. He's a butthead because I've been waiting until I could get out here to do this. And I didn't peek at what was inside. And it's killing me. Okay, the hand you're about to see is my son Jack. He's going to help out. Yeah, this is, this is the way it came to my house. So I did open it this far and I stopped right there. And what I saw was what looks like a 30 caliber ammo can. So here we are opening. And I don't even know what where this came from other than from Scamp. And I'll get you back for this. <laughs> Ah, it was a 762 ammo can, I'm sorry. So, the unboxing video. Come on, damn it! There we go. Ow, okay, this got a card on top. Great, this says this is the outdoor survival ammo can. Ready for anything. If you are un... If, you're in untamed wilderness, miles from civilization. This is a zero bar country. But you're prepared. You've got a field tested outdoor survival ammo can filled with all the gear you need to make it back. Be a bro and say thanks to whoever gave you a man crate. Apparently this is a man crate. So, what's inside? We have a casualty, a blanket, casualty, lightweight, orange, silver, reversible, 51 by 82 inches. Emergency blanket, never a bad thing to have. A callum stick. We all know... Really? <laughs> My chair is not cooperative today. A callum stick, we all know what those are for. We've got a fruit and nut pemmican complete protein concentrated food bar meatless well, why would you make it meatless oh i guess there's people out there who don't like meat you want to put that so in the frame this one we don't need to put in frame everybody knows what cliff bars are we got a oatmeal raisin walnut cliff bar ooh that sounds good I might have that for a snack later. <laughs> then we have a kind fruit and nut bar. Fruit and nut delight. Um, let them see what that looks like. Then we got a field trip all natural gluten free. How could you have gluten in beef jerky? Gluten is bread. I don't know. People are silly. Wait, there are some uh, jerkies that they have like oats on. Oh, I guess that's true. But got some beef jerky. Is that? Can they see that from good enough? Or now? Oh, we got us a entrenching tool. That's not a bad little entrenching tool. Definitely uh, get it stuck so I have to unscrew it later. <laughs> oh, remember I was saying I needed some paracord? Paracord. 
We've got 50 feet of Rothko 550 peri per, uh, seven strand paracord. Previous video. Huh? Previous video you were needing the paracord though. Okay, you probably noticed I'm wearing the same shirt. It's Friday, so I'm wearing my red shirt on Friday. We came out here to shoot three or four videos today just so I'd have something to work on editing because I'm slower than hell editing. So, last video I said I needed some paracord. Now I have some. <laughs> I've got a survivor that needs to be opened with a cricket. <laughs> I love my cricket. <laughs> Not sure if they can hear that behind us, but some of those animal noises are coming from the zoo. Yeah, we are sitting in um, Sequoia, Park. Sequoia Park. I am being, I'll, maybe we'll do a real quick surround shot. If not in this video and maybe the next one. But I am sitting in the middle of a bunch of redwood trees. So that is not a bad place to spend an afternoon with your son. So apparently what, it, what the survivor is, is wrapped in plastic. <laughs> that is a wicked look. Ooh, that's shit. Meh. It's not real sharp, but it's sharp enough it'd be use, useful. I could see if there's any little sticks around here. I'll see if I can get some shavings up. By little stick, I meant something I could like hold and put. Ah, this is good enough, I guess. No, it's not. Look, look, look at the. That better? That's much better. Okay, this is a survivor. Man, they want you to. Have, it's a stainless steel. They want me to have my magnifying glass out or something. Let me see it. No. Uh, we, we'll look at that in a minute. This is a survivor. Oh. Probably on the box I just threw away, huh? No, it's not. Oh, Master Cutlery Incorporated, all rights reserved. So no information on that at all, hardly. It's got a little finger guard and a hole there, and oops. Of course, I go right into a knot. Yeah, I could definitely get some tinder out, tinder done with that. And it's, what, about three-eighths of an inch? Looks like it. I could, I could tap that in and notch with this, yeah. Yeah, I could do little notches with that. That's no problem. That's not a bad little piece of knife. Comes with a sheath, more or less. <laughs> and it came with a baby ferrule rod. I wonder if I feed it, if it'll grow up healthy and strong. <laughs> no, I could, this, if this is what you had, this would definitely start a fire. I'm gonna see, will the back, will the spine, I'll do it over the table so I don't. Looks like it throws sparks. It throws a spark. Do it one more time to see if it gets on video good. Yeah, see that good. Good to go. So yeah, this you could start a fire with this. I, I could one stick fire with this if I had to. So we got us a little. Got us a little fixed blade knife and the last item in here is FM 21-76 survival manual from the army ironically I used to live with one of these in my cargo pocket <laughs> I spent a lot of time humping around the woods <laughs> with one of these when I was in the army so uh, outstanding that is a pretty decent little box. I have no idea what it costs. I resisted the urge to look up or to look into it and find out what it was or try to do any research and find out what it was.
because I wanted to be as surprised by the contents as you were. But so apparently this is by Mancrete and it is the Outdoor Survival Ammo Can. So if you kind of like the way this looks or you want to send a present to somebody and torture them, make sure you put a note and it tells them they can't open it until they do something silly first, like be on camera. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching this. If you liked my video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I hope to be adding more content. My name is Douglas. That's my son Jack behind the camera laughing and making noises and showing his hand, waving things around. And jump to the screen for a couple of seconds. So thank you very much and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.